So we're recording. Uh, this is what's called a G and T with me, CG, which is where I'm bringing John Money back into the clearing for yes and even more. And John, uh, because of the, um, the we've worked together over many many years, and I know that um, as as the profoundly brilliant man that you are, um, there's nothing stereotypically clowny about you. And you know, there's that stereotype about the um, the, the sort of uh, dark side of being a clown, and there's there's uh, you know. Mm. I, you know, I'm riffing at here, but the idea of of, of of something underneath the surface and the nature of, of mental health. And you've got a really interesting journey and story to talk about with your own relationship to mental health. And I just wanted to just talk to you about that and ask a couple of questions. OK, so, so um, tread carefully, Grimes. Yes. So so um, anything you'd like to say about that in terms of how I've positioned it? Um, uh, no. I don't know. I don't know. Um, uh, uh, it's interesting because you, you just mentioned before you hit record, you said, well, can we, let's, shall we talk about this? And, and, um, and I think my reply was, well, yes, today is, today is a, uh, yes, today gets a yes. There are days when, when, when I wouldn't. Um, um, and that's uh, lovely because, so in other words, you've got a really, um, because of self-awareness being the holy grail, you've got a really acute sense of when would be a yes day, when would be a no day. Well, uh, um, only, only with experience and with hindsight, I think, um, uh, yes, if I was in that sort of different frame of mind, well, I wouldn't even have responded to the email, let alone, um, you know. Because by the way, if I may, there was a really interesting journey to, to this conversation we've been having today, which is where when I first asked you, you went, yes, and then there was an email that arrived uh, uh, suddenly going, uh, I'm really not going to do this, thank you. And then you then subsequently whatever cloud had parted you then got back in touch and said actually yes it's back on and i i was really i, I really enjoyed the sort of honesty in all points actually yeah well i, I guess i mean for me I, I, everybody is different i know that and and i have had uh, you know since a teenager um you know mental health issues of varying degrees um and normally what i do when 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 the storm in my head gathers um, I sometimes you see it coming and and you steer away from it. Sometimes you see it coming and you think, "Sod it! I'm going to go right into it. I'm going to make this as bad as it can be." Sometimes you don't even you, you don't even you don't even know it's coming until it hits you from the side, kind of thing. It, it, it's never it's, it's difficult to predict. Um, but normally, what happens when I become aware is I start to shut down. So I will I will cancel you know meetings or or social events. Uh, I will. I, I, I can delete numbers from phones. I'll send that erratic, angry email, which which you know really burns that bridge. And and, and I think it's an act of self harm, not in that physical traditional physical sense, but, but very much in a social sense. In, in sometimes in a career sense as well. I will do things. I get so angry, and I just go. Uh, but but it's quite destructive. And 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 so. And then with hindsight, you think, "Oh my God, I, I, I've taken that way too far," or I've, I've, "I've got to go, I've got to go crawling back," or "I can never speak to that person again because I've, I've, I've as I said, I've burnt that bridge." So I try not to do that anymore. I try to be um, um, find ways to, if it gets to that point, if it gets to the point where I'm cutting connections and isolating myself. You know, and it goes all the way down to not answering the phone and not drawing the curtains and not eating and not drinking. You know, uh, then that that's quite a bad place to be for me in, in terms of you know naught to ten. Uh, that, uh, then then alarm bells are ringing. Um, uh, and so and, and and what was interesting was this time round, it, it so in, it coincided with with National Mental Health Day or or Global Mental Health Day or something similar. Um, and I don't I don't tweet about these things. I don't really talk about my own mental health. I don't talk particularly about my sexuality or my politics. I'm not, I don't go around with a placard. I'm not that mm. kind of, not that kind of person. But on this occasion, I, I, I tweeted that I was, or I, on Facebook, I think, I wrote that I was struggling uh, and, 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 and sort of opened that door a little bit. And I immediately thought, um, delete it. You know, take it down, take it down, take it down. For God's sakes, delete it. And, and, and it was almost slight dare how long you know how long dare I leave that up and then I thought well it's it's national mental health day or whatever um I can't I can't take it back down now I'm going to leave it up till midnight that was my because I, I tend to leave I don't put anything on Facebook 
I, I delete everything. Nothing stays on my Facebook page for longer than a day or a week. I was going to say that in my experience of you, I've yeah. I've learned, I suppose to. And I don't I don't know why it's a safety thing. It's a it's a I like to, I it's a keeping my powder dry. I don't know what it is. I, I it, it, I'm it's certainly a control thing, but I I don't leave anything with any permanence. Um, but I left I left this up for the for the rest of the day. It was you know all all afternoon and evening. And the response that I got from it was very lovely, and I'm and I'm very appreciative of that. But with hindsight, what I realized was, is it is that it had uh, let the really to open the pressure valve in my head. Yes. And, and, and I felt better and I didn't feel quite so angry or so desperate or so confused or just so. Um, because, by the way, I'm very always struck in, in my experience of you. I, I occasionally go, oh, John's deleted everything again. And I, I begin to tune into and I, I occasionally have, you know, another great friend of ours. In, in common as Steph, we can occasionally, you know, be, you take care of you in the background. But I think I hope John's yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess. I'm, I'm a, I, yeah. But I was going to say, there's nothing ever, I'm always admiring of your searing honesty when you go to that place, uh, whatever that might, however it might be manifesting. And it's never a sort of really needy use of social media in the way that some people do. You know, I, I have experienced yeah. people who just go on and go, yeah, I, I can't yeah. breathe. And then everyone wades in going, are you all right, hun? You've never done that. <laughs> No, it wasn't like that. It was a very straightforward, sort of factual, honest, it was. kind of thing, um, and 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 it helped. And I, you know, and I knew that talking helped, and 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 people responding kindly and with 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 concern and 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 the willingness to to uh, spend a little time on you, you know, helps. Um, well, it's just it was, giving you a random act of kindness back in a way, because I, I remember, you know, there's just a sense the the sort of thematic thing that came to you very quickly is you are much loved much admired and much respected and I, I sincerely hope that that helped but you don't I, I suppose it doesn't always help because just telling someone yeah. you like them or you admire them doesn't always help if one is feeling a bit dark well as an actor if someone tells you that you're lovely and you're wonderful I mean of course it helps I mean you you, you want it written down and, and, and uh, <laughs> put, put in a poster and on the wall so it, it's, it's very you know actors love having praise heaped upon them but yeah but, uh, but I accept your point sometimes you, you've reached a point where you are you are deaf to anything except the the chatter in your head. Yeah. Um, and, and interestingly, um, Alistair, who was the, the 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 spin doctor for the Labour Party? Alistair uh, Campbell. Campbell. Yeah. Who has long um, long experience with depression? I read a, an article of his the other day, and it was a very and I found it fascinating. He you know, sometimes he can have bad days or bad episodes, uh, but he'll 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 get out. I mean, he'll manage to get out of bed. Oh, I need to make a, have a cup of tea, and he walks past her. I think it was a window on the on the hallway, and if he casually flicks that curtain open as he walks past, in that very split second, almost subconscious decision of whether he's going to or not, if he opens that curtain, there's a chance the day could be saved. Okay. If he just walks past the curtain, doesn't even think to open it. The day is already over. He's he's already lost the battle. Now it's a question of battening down the hatches and holding on tight and waiting for the storm to pass. And that really rang. I, that that sounded very familiar. Familiar. Uh, to yes, me. interesting. Yeah. And Maybe, you, yeah. when you first started, you know, thank you for your generosity in starting to talk about this. But you, when you said it, it when you can feel it coming, was it the mm -hmm. Chilean construct where he talked about black, the black dog of depression, where like a black Labrador that comes into you just in his peripheral vision. Oh, I see. Yeah. Well, in terms of a physical manifestation or an actual image, I don't really have it. You know, some people see colours and things. I, I understand. I'm, I'm not like a migraine coming on. Yeah, I'm. I'm just aware of of my thoughts change in terms of their um, uh, of their of their colour. There's an interesting. I remember being very clearly. I did a lot of something called CBT, which is cognitive behavioural therapy, where you have to sort of try and uh, analyse your thoughts and, and and stop, think, reflect was a big part of that where you stop what what, what is this i'm thinking what you, this this ridiculous you know i'm thinking about this dinner party and it's going to be a nightmare so stop think reason recall other dinner parties were they, were they actually that was okay wasn't it you quite enjoyed yourself and then you reevaluate your original fear and you've kind of talked yourself down somewhat and and it kind of worked for me a bit but it's quite an exhausting process to go through to continually challenge your own thoughts it's quite takes up quite a lot of your day you don't get to watch any television but I remember, I remember being in the shower and I was going out for the evening. Uh, I think it was a house party. And I'd agreed to give somebody a lift. And it was somebody I didn't really like. 
but it was a friend of a friend. And I can't, and I, and as always, I say now, I'm one of these people, oh yes, of course I'll do it. And then you think, I don't want to do it, but yes, of course I'll do it. And I'd said yes to, to giving this guy a lift and I'm in the shower and I'm washing my hair and my thought process went, he'll get in the car, he'll say something which offends me. I'll get arsey back at him. We'll have a row. I'll tell him to get out, he can walk. <laughs> I slam the door and drive off. He has to walk to the party. He never shows up. I found out the next day he got hit by a car and he's dead and it's all my fault. <laughs> And that, which is called catastrophizing. Apparently. I was going to say it is that, yes. And that, but that process, well, what's, what, what is critical, I think, is that process takes milliseconds. That is not a long, drawn-out process where I've agonised over the possible journeys this narrative could take. It's not considered. In the, in the time it's taken me to squeeze the shampoo into my hand and start washing my hair, that thought has, has reached that conclusion. It's the whole thing. Yeah, that, that he's dead and I'm responsible. That, that, and so by the time I've got out the shower, I'm not going to that party. I've cancelled. I've sent that text. I've, I've, you know, uh, all those plans of, and and you know, and that's that's happened more times than I could ever possibly tell you. <laughs> and so and so it, it's and 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 somehow managing to to wedge a crowbar into that fast turning machine when those thoughts start doing that. Yes, it's quite difficult, and I and I and I think I've got better at it. But as my recent experience showed me, sometimes it can still it can still catch me out, and it always it's, it never fails to to um, surprise me. Sometimes just how how hard it can it can bite still. And, and with the Alistair Campbell curtain twitch, have you got something else, something similar symbolically that you do that knows whether the day is was, uh, lo- uh, lost or won? No, I, 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 no, not, not so much. I mean, there are certain things like you know, just if you, if you manage to have a shower, getting in the shower, or, or, or getting out of bed, or, 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 or eating some breakfast, or whatever, can all those positive steps. I mean, they sound so ridiculous, but they can. I all, know it's just that the, the uh, micro steps want, of getting up yeah. and contributing, and then eventually you, you sort of, it's like a spluttering engine. Um, I do have things uh, 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 around. What you've got to wait there one second. You can even see a picture of a, wait. Of, a, of a lovely. So I'm back. So uh, this won't work for any radio thing. But when I was doing the, the, the cognitive behavioral therapy, I remember being asked to think about sort of the, 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 the creative side of my brain and the darker side of my brain. And, and I drew a picture. And for the creative side of my brain was it was a wizard mm-hmm. and, and uh, where anything was possible uh, and was very positive and, and, and creative and magical. And then the dark side was it was a saboteur who was dressed in a mask with a big pair of pincers, um, wire cutters, and he's the one that goes around cutting all the invites and the, and the telephone numbers and, and the events. And whatever. So I had these two characters, and so I made a physical representation. There's um wonderful. That's your wizard that just thrown up. Yeah, yeah. I showed you. There's a little plasticine. And wizard. how far away was he to go and get you? An exact. Obviously, it's your house and it's your wizard. Yeah, you went no, well, to he's, get he's in he's my in he's place. in my island. He's there on a, on a, on a shelf which I will catch sight of. And I've had this for I don't know twenty years. Yes. But, but he's not just there. He's 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 in my wallet as well. In the in the in by my driver's license. A yes. Big and 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 so I will have little things like that around the house, which which I don't really spend now. You know, this is um, many years on from that particular therapy. I don't I don't know how often I do think about them or or see them, but they're there. And there's something by my bedside as well, which is which is a, a similar thing. Just just and maybe it helps i don't know and i love the so f- not, obviously you printed, you've printed out the wizard but the saboteur is not something you ever need to print i'm getting no, that. i never know I don't, yes you don't want to see, i don't want to be reminded of him but it is <laughs> yeah, yes the dark much. side yeah. but so so you know uh, does it help i have no idea but um, um that's it thank you that's i love that it's, it's deeply personal and very beautiful to see that you printed off the wizard do you have a name for him or is yeah, he's called milo milo I think it was for, for, for My Little Wizard. It was, it was it sort of had an NLW, My Little Wizard, and it turned into Milo. Uh, and so and were you just invited back in the therapeutic day to come up with something yourself? So it was your idea to come up with a wizard. So you just decided... Which yeah, I, I can't really recall the exercise, but I think I think she asked me to, you know, to, to draw something. And, and I yeah. think it's like, I, am, I can draw. I, I can sort of do cartoons and things. So that's it. Or, or, or whether I suggested it, I don't recall. It's, yes. It's, it's a format I would feel quite comfortable with if, if she said sing a jazz song about your depression 
I yeah. wouldn't have come up with quite something uh, so fulfilling. Um, but, but so yeah, that was a little caricature that I drew and named. And um, and uh, uh, and do you know? Oh, this is an interesting story. Can I? I don't know how long have we got. I don't yeah, know. As long as we need. I love this. I, I used to see. Uh, I won't mention her name, but a, a lovely lady, a therapist, and. Um, and when you go, <laughs> but the very first time I saw a psychiatrist, they asked me, do you hear voices? And I replied, who said that? And, <laughs> and, and that, yeah, and, and they just sat there and just wrote something down. Um, uh, but I used to see this, this lovely lady and the very first time I was seeing her, I don't think I was there by choice. I think I was, you know, had to go. Um, and we had this introductory session and at the very end, she said, uh, any questions you want to ask me? And I said, uh, yeah, how does a carburetor work? And it was, and it was me being a little bit arsy and, and a bit confrontational and, and a bit, I don't quite know why I said it. And she just sort of looked at me <laughs> and said, um, okay, well, um, I'll see you same time next week. And I came back the following week and I sat down and she said, okay, what a carburetor does is it evenly mixes the oil and the water. And I can't remember the, the exact yeah, yeah, but she... definition, but she gave me a very full and comprehensive answer of what <laughs> a carburetor does. And I remember being impressed by that, that she, she um, played me at my own game. And she, uh, she, sorry, this is slightly cheesy, this segue, but she gave you a good listening to, which she's proving. She gave me a good listening she listened exactly. to. And from then on, I engaged with her and I thought, OK, I'm going to trust you and I will talk yes. to you and I'll be honest with you. Whereas I have seen other therapists where, you know, I'm aware that they've, they've looked down and checked their notes to make sure they get my name right. Uh, yes. and, and, and or they're looking at the clock on the wall. And and, and, there are, yeah, and, and, and and as a patient or client, you think, excuse me. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. And, 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 and then it's game over for me. I'm not um, I will now stonewall you because. Yes. You know, and 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 but and to turn things around, some fifteen years later, this lady, this this uh, therapist, she now works in. Um, you've, just done a, you've just done a gesture where I'm assuming she's very very short. Was that right? Or no? Did I do it? <laughs> so sorry. No, she was a she was a regular height, as I recall. <laughs> I, I don't wish to make make it right to be some diminutive. <laughs> um, but um, but a, a, a good fifteen years later, I was doing pantomime at the theatre royal, and um, a, a letter sent to me saying would I and some of the cast visit the dementia ward at the local hospital and the name at the bottom was the same name as the therapist that I used to see some 15 20 years ago Mrs Carberetta yeah Mrs yeah Mrs Carberetta and I kind of froze and I thought oh god I don't know if I, uh, and uh, do I want to see her again I did has she has she made the connection uh, she must have done she must have I don't know and I was very nervous about it, but I wanted to do something for the dementia patients. I, we, and, and myself and Nick Wilton, who played the Dane, we, we went up there on our day off and got dressed up in costume or whatever. And, and, and there was somebody there from the Theatre Royal as well to sort of chaperone us. And I remember seeing this lady who I'd had quite an intimate experience with for, for a number of years of this therapy we'd done together. So it, it's quite a, a connection. And she gave me a hug and I gave her, but I was very aware that I wasn't letting on to anybody else around us that we yes. had this previous history and because I didn't really want to talk about that and I didn't and I didn't know if she was going to or and she didn't and it was all as if we'd never met before and the context and down, because you're there for show business reasons and so that's yes, I'm there to do a, yeah. I'm there to have a photograph taken for the local press and and, yeah. and hand out flyers and spend some time with the dementia patients yes and we were sat there and we were having a cup of tea with these lovely uh, men and women in the dementia ward and uh, and this lady therapist she she had a cup of tea for me and she put down the cup of tea as she as she leant over my shoulder and she just very quietly whispered, how's the carburetor? <sighs> and um, wow. uh, yeah, and I and I went, it's 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 doing OK. Thank you. It's doing OK. But I was quite and I, I was quite, uh, you know, shocked and, and, and it was it was it was quite a moment. It was. I, yeah. I love your answer as well. It's doing okay. You've both yeah. used the symbolic nature of the carburetor to be you. Actually, I love that. We said, we, we said everything in in that in just as she put the down. She just and nobody else would have noticed. And then a few days later, there were I had a thank you card thanking you and the rest of the cast and the theatre all. And there was a, a picture of a, she cut out a picture of the carburetor and stuck it in the card as well, which is very sweet. But um, but 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 through that that very sort of obtuse kind of joke, um, uh. uh, uh a real connection was established uh, and, and I'm sure has helped me 
uh, enormously over all the years since. And it's it's almost ironically it could be a really profound uh, catchphrase for John. How's your carburetor, Moni? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Nice you know, to I'll, see you. How's your yeah, carburetor? Good game, good game. <laughs> How's your carburetor? No, I'm no, sorry. I, no, not necessarily I, in the right order. How's your carburetor? Yeah, I can go on, on a t shirt. Yeah. Well, Garlic bread. How's your carburetor? And uh, by the way, uh, coming full circle to, to give that story the reverence it deserves, that's so beautiful that she did that. What a special, special. Yes, it's all her, you know. It's, but, but, but I think, you know, if you find that in a, in a, in a therapist or in a, in a teacher, or yes. in a friend or in a colleague or in a mentor or in a boss who has that willingness to find that true connection as opposed to the generic connection. Yes. Then, then, um, then it's, it can be incredibly powerful. There are certain things that are said to us in our lives that we will never forget. And I love, I, I, I love that. That's beautiful. So that's my carburetor story. And the irony is I still don't know what a carburetor does because I can't remember anymore. But, but, but I know they're important. Yes. So, and also, I'm really, really happy that your carburetor is humming along beautifully today. So, John... At the moment, it's working fine. Thank you. Wonderful. So, thank you very much indeed for coming back to the clearing for a G&T with me, CG, and the lovely Where Jane. John, how's your carburetor, Moni? Where's the alcohol? <laughs> when, I can, when I can see you next to embrace you, I, I will do so. Thank you, John. Really appreciate it. And now my cursor is... Sorry, I was going to the, I, to the trackpad of a different computer, which is why my... Uh, arrow wasn't moving there which is uh, yes <clears throat> thank you very much indeed and good night <laughs>